Aniline City Stories, The Diamond Murders, Case 3, True Crime, written by Matt Troy. Nobody in true crime circles thought that the Elian Corzo murder was even remotely connected to the Diamond Killer. I mean, none of the ritual or tics of the real killer. <laughs> exactly. Copycat? More like sloppy cat, right? <sighs> Amen to that. I'm glad that the Corzo family get justice, even if the diamond killer remains at large. You're absolutely right. Well, Gretchen Ostergaard, thank you so much for joining us tonight and for being this podcast's favorite Analine City news reporter. <laughs> the pleasure was all mine. Thank you very much. You've been listening to Murders with Moreland. I've been Diane Moreland, and I will catch you incoming call. <laughs> so cool to hear you on Murders with Moreland. Um... I'm on the actual TV news every night, Anna. Yeah, but podcasts are cool. Gee, thanks. You're welcome. How did you finish the episode before me? I literally hit play as it dropped. It's a twin thing. It's a twin thing when we do it at the same time. Not when you bend the rules of space and time. I skipped the preamble to get right to my beautiful sister. Can you blame me? With our face. <laughs> You're so weird. You coming over for dinner tonight? Alexis has painted a picture of Burger Cat for you. Not tonight. I'm swinging by work, and then I need to feed that fat cat before he eats my couch. The news. Unlike your giant cat, never sleeps, huh? <sighs> Leah has called Caitlin and me in for an emergency reporters meeting. Stoffer is getting away with it because he's on vacation with Fran from sales and thinks nobody knows they're boning. The news is dirty. See? Sexier than a podcast. Hey, is Lexi there now? She's a churl's mom, so I could listen to you on the big speakers. Tell her Aunt Gretchen misses her. See you at Mom's on Sunday, then? Yes. I promise I will be there and square. Sure you will. <sighs> you are so mean to me. Ring me when you get home. I don't like you being in that parking garage at night. I promise. Love you. Bye. Call ended. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, hey, m mind the camera. Oh, God, Yitzi, I'm sorry. You okay? Yeah, I'm late for a meeting. Yeah, I heard Lee taking your name in vain. They're in room two. Is he pissed off? Of course he's pissed off. He's awake. Reporting, Caitlin. I'm just saying we need to remember who is feeding us and not to bite that hand quite so hard. Sorry, I'm late, Leah. Hey, Caitlin. Hey. Oh, it's the mistress of murder herself. I heard you on that podcast again, Gretchen. Relax. I was only on there to talk about the copycat killing. I wasn't dropping a big story. Oh, Gretchen. <laughs> Lee wants to change the format again. Oh, what the fuck, Lee? These dumb cosmetic changes aren't going to save us. Hey, come on. I have higher-ups to answer to. We have higher-ups to answer to. Or do you two want to try and earn a living off a of podcast Patreon? Hmm, that might not be such a bad career move, given the current climate. The reason people don't care, Lee, is that half the crime committed in this city has the word corporate before it. Our biggest audience slice is working class and lower middle class families who think we're a bunch of shit because we don't go hard enough on... The people who are sponsoring our show tonight. I'm just saying. I know what you're saying, Comrade Gretzky. But half those families turn over to reruns of Home Improvement when the news comes on. So maybe we should recalibrate our sights a little. They turn over because they're not represented. We should do more to recapture that demographic. And what do you suggest? Being a ghoul on some podcast? Hey, I'm interacting with our younger viewers more than anyone. But it's not for the network. It's for the cult of Gretchen Ostergaard. So some Gen Y ignoramus can call you their favorite spooky bitch on Instagram stories while the true crime bubble bursts around us all. We have an active serial killer. If the bubble is bursting nationwide, it's not like Annaline City is on the cutting edge. People are still wearing low-rise jeans and talking about Sons of Anarchy, for God's sake. I am not going to take a full-scale fucking mutiny off you two. Yitzi, what the hell? There's been another one. A murder? Yeah. 
Riviera Street, some abandoned building down in the old tannery district. Tip off? They called the help desk. Jesus. I know the place. Yitzi, follow me there? Sure. We'll finish this conversation in the morning. Quick, roll it. I think that's Rojas at the entrance. Sergeant Rojas, Richard Ostergaard, ACTN. Okay, ma'am, that's far enough. Hello, officer. I'm Gretchen Ostergaard. I know who you are, ma'am. You need to stay away from the building. It's an active crime scene, and the sergeant is working. Are we looking at a potential diamond murder? Look, lady, I'm human police tape. Do not cross me. I'll deal with this, officer. Help cover the gate. Yes, detective. Stop rolling. Well, let's talk a second. Yitzi? Sure thing. Gretchen, how the hell did you get out here so fast? We had a tip-off call at the office. Jesus, did you want to call that in? Murph, we need something here. It's in both our interests to keep public focus on this. We're hoping that details don't get leaked again, and we get another copycat. Um, you fuck that, not us. Which is why we can't fuck it again. Come on, Murph. Feed us and we'll be out of your yard. Okay. Just promise me to call in what you have over the tip-off, okay? Deal. Okay. Rolling and action. Detective Murphy... What can you tell us about the situation unfolding in the building now? Uh, a body has been found. We have CSI in sight. Cause of death unknown at present, but foul play is suspected. All I can say is it doesn't look like the body has been there too long. Do you think it's the work of the Diamond Killer? Way too early to speculate. And I doubt there will be any more updates tonight. Thank you. And cut. Great. We'll edit a link into the intro. Okay, everyone, stand back. Ambulance coming through. Thanks, Murphy. I'll call you later, okay? Sure. Well, that was cozy. Murphy? I've known him since I was a junior reporter. He got me an ice pack after I got elbowed in the eye, trying to interview a suspect. Cute. Okay, let's wrap this up. Don't forget the link. Rolling and action. This is Gretchen Ostergaard, reporting tonight from the Old Tannery District, where is believed the latest victim of the so-called Diamond Killer has been found. I spoke to Detective Harvey Murphy of ACPD about the discovery. Perfect. Stand back. Let them through. You don't want to say it again, people. Keep rolling. There's a covered officer, gurney leaving the building now. Is it true that the body is a recent discovery? Can you comment on the cause of death? Damn it. Okay, got it. What now? Send it to Lee. I'm going to try and follow the ambulance. <laughs> Classy. Incoming call. Hey, you didn't let me know you were home. Hey, am I on Bluetooth? I'm in the car. They found another body. The diamond? Looks like it. Just heading up to the hospital to see if I can get anything. You're seriously ambulance chasing? Damn it! Gretchen? Traffic. I'm gonna lose them. I'm going to get off the highway and try to go through McAlpine. Be careful. I will. Love you. Bye. Call ended. Come on, Lee. Gretchen, what's going on? Something weird. I'm at Annaline City Medical now. The EMTs who came to collect the body haven't checked in. Maybe they went to St. Martin's. Front desk confirmed they were coming here. I recorded it on my phone, but it's decent. Send it over. I'll see if there's anything on traffic. Anything else? I just got a VM from a police contact. Which reminds me, make sure you report the tip-off to them. They know about it. Okay. Keep me posted. You have one new voice message. To play the message, please press... Gretzky, it's Murphy. I need to see you ASAP, in person. Don't call my number and delete this message when you're done. I'll be at your parking garage at 9.30 p.m. Message deleted. Meet me in the parking garage at 9.30. <sighs> Note to self, do not let Harvey Fox Mulder Murphy pick the locations for your cloak and dagger meet and greets. Hello? Murph, you'd better not be fucking with me. It's in real poor taste. Jesus! Murphy? Shh! What the fuck? Murphy, you're scaring me. 
What the fuck? I'm sorry, but there's someone down here for sure. It's probably the rats. Let's get out of here. I need you to have something. What is it? Right now, it's just a little more than a dossier of a hunch, with some circumstantial evidence. There's a lot in here, Murph. Why me? Because you know what you're doing. You're in nobody's pocket and you're not a cop. Are you saying this is an internal job? Nothing so dramatic as far as I know. But keep your ear to the ground and don't let anyone know you have that information. I'll study it tonight. You want me to walk you to your door? Professional or personal courtesy? Uh... I'll be fine. Thanks, Gretchen. First floor. Thank you, too, doll. Doors closing. <sighs> Goddamn luck. Burger, I've got your favorites. Burger, if you're in the bathroom, I'm going to be mad. But probably not. <laughs> Hey, little A. I am home, and my door is locked. (laughs) I'm going to feed his large ship. Call me if you're up. (sighs) Christ, Burger. You sound like a full-grown... Oh. Uh. Sloppy cat? You? You have been listening to Annaline City Stories, The Diamond Murders, Case 3, True Crime. Episode script written by Matt Troy. This episode featured the following cast members. Gina Moravec as Gretchen Ostergaard. Lauren Richard as Anna Ostergaard. Emma Blakesley as Diane Moreland. Tal Manier as Yitzi Bird. J.D. Kelly as Lee Solanke. Crystal M. Lee as Caitlin Grady, Gina Moravec as Officer Reyes, James Takahashi as Detective Harvey Murphy, Autumn Ivy as The Killer, Joy Amy Wigman as The Voicemail Recording, Leah Ryan as The Elevator, Elaine Ryan, Alexander Andrews Villarreal, Leah Ryan and Hunter LaPaglia as Crime Scene Reporters. Annaline City Stories is produced, written, and directed by J.D. Kelly. Featuring music, mixing, and mastering by Alexander White of Arpeggio Creative. And sound effects from Soundly, Pixabay, and Alexander White. Please leave a like and review of our podcast. For further information, visit our website, annaline.city.